everyone, so first, sorry, but I will not be able to put the camera any further from my face because there is a wall behind it, but at least we have a good quality camera for my face now. Sorry, I'm just not really used to look at the, <laughs> the camera anymore, so I hope I will not be looking too much to the side. That being said, hello, hello, everyone. Today, we are talking about backgrounds for your webtoons and comics, and so I will share to you some payable and free website, but also for this video, you will receive a free 3D model. I will talk to you about it a bit later. The link will be in the description. It's only on this video. And I just want to thank the Snapchat dev for this background. So please go support them on their Twitter. Also, tiny disclaimer. We are not here to talk about how to render your backgrounds, but only to know where to find some. Don't worry. In two weeks, you will receive another video on how to render it. So do not panic about that. Anyway, let's start with the payable website. The first one is a really known website, which is Akon 3 d To me, it's one of my favorite websites, but not only for 3D models, but also for brushes. You can find a lot of things on Akon 3 d and it is also responsible of a lot of my money loss. Yeah, I totally recommend this website. And to be honest, considering the quality of the products on Akon 3 d I don't find the um, websites really expensive. So yeah, just take a look, prepare your wallet and <laughs> go for it. And by the way, you can also post your own stuff on Acon3 and you can find mine here. So just take a look, but I just recommend buying it on my website, like my personal shop, because it's a bit cheaper. The second website is Neptune Warehouse with or without subscription. There is a subscription mode, a payable mode. Like I really insist on the words with or without subscription. <laughs> so for the paying option of the Snapton Warehouse website, it's quite similar to Acon 3D and this leads this website to be my other favorite website. Look how beautiful this website is, there is so much. 3D models that are super pretty. About the subscription part now, it is for 20 or 60 dollars a year, you can have several 3D models. And yes, it is updated constantly, so it's not that expensive. I mean, of course, I always say, no, it's not that expensive, etc. because I just love 3D models. And for me, for the work it is, it's not that expensive, but of course, it is still like money. So yeah, just try to find the best website for you. Now let's talk a bit about Clip Studio Assets. Clip Studio Assets will be twice in this video because there are some free and payable assets on it. So first I recommend Clip Studio for webtoons in general, but also there is really a ton of brushes and models and poses that you can find on it. I just recommend this software so much and I recommend the X version, which of course is really a lot more expensive, but also a lot more complete. Back to the subject of the video. Now let's talk about the free one websites. So there is not a lot of websites in this video, but I wanted to be sure that there was good website and websites that I knew about. But of course, if you have other websites, please feel free to share in the comments. It will be like so nice to see everyone sharing their own websites and their own tips. So I think this is already pretty known, but the first free website I want to show you is Ketchup Warehouse. I personally don't like Ketchup a lot, but my backgrounds are still made with them SKP files. But there I made on Snaptoon, which is really, really different. Again, I already made two videos that explain how I make my backgrounds, even three. But SketchUp Warehouse is like the basic websites for 3D. I personally find it a bit empty, but it is still great to find some objects. Also, you will need an account to download on it. The second website, which is not a website, but a game, I think you guessed it, is The Sims 4. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, it might be ridiculous, but listen. First, I really recommend this only as a non-professional artist. Please don't use it if you're under contract, etc. I'm not sure that The Sims 4 copyrights will be really open to be used for a commercial use. Beware about this one. But I'm only spitting tips, okay? After that, you are doing whatever you want to do, okay? <laughs> I'm not responsible for this. So yeah, just open Sims 4, take screenshot. And by the way, if you are struggling with the 3D aspects of The Sims 4, you can still put clips Studio filters on it. So you open Clip Studio and you have a filters to make it look like more like a drawing. Now it's time to Clip Studio assets again. <laughs> I will repeat myself, but there is free and payable assets on the Clip Studio assets. So just go for it and find what you need. Also, it is really cheap 
Voila, voila. Now it is time to give you this video's present. I just again want to thank the Snapton developer that accepted to do this. I asked them if it was possible to give a free model for a video. They said yes. So I made a poll for this video to ask you what type of 3D model you preferred and you choose the fantasy one. Please go support the Snapton developers. Okay, they are really doing a great job. It is saving so much time for me to use Snapton, so follow them on Twitter to receive your model. Just refer to the links in the description again. Everything is in it, so you just have to download it from Google Drive, and that's all you have to do. It's all for the video. If you have questions or suggestions for me for future videos, or I don't know, for Webtoon in general, just ask in the comments. I will be really happy to answer. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.